When you begin to work on a new drawing, one of the biggest concerns is often how to get the drawing to print or plot at the proper scale. When you work in a drawing, you should always create the objects that represent the actual drawing geometry, the building, the mechanical part, or whatever it is that you are creating in model space. And you should create that geometry at its actual size. Therefore, when working in model space, one drawing unit should always equal one real world unit. When you create drawings at a scale of one to one, you actually make it easier to share your drawings with other team members. If everyone creates their geometry at full scale, you can combine work from other team members and everything will fit together. Then when you are ready to print or plot, you create a layout that looks like what you want to see on paper. Although each drawing file can have only one model space tab, each drawing can have as many layout tabs as you want. Each layout represents a sheet of paper. While it is possible to print from model space, the best practice is to create one or more layouts that essentially represent exactly what you want to appear on each sheet, and then print those layouts. Each layout should be created at the exact size of the piece of paper on which you will print. In other words, if you plan to print the drawing on a D-size sheet of paper, or an A1 sheet if you're using metric, you would create a layout that measures 24 by 36 inches, or 594 millimeters by 841 millimeters. You do this by using the Page Setup Manager, to select both the printer that will be used and the paper size. You then add the model space geometry to the layout by placing viewports onto the layout. Each viewport is essentially a window that displays the model space geometry at a scale that will fit onto the layout, the sheet of paper. You can also add a border and title block drawn in paper space on each layout. Then, when you are ready to print that layout, you print it at full size, in other words, at a scale of 1 to 1. Each layout can have its own unique page setup. For example, you could create one layout representing a drawing to print on a D-size sheet, with a viewport showing a building elevation at a scale of 1 quarter inch equals 1 foot, and a second layout representing a drawing to print on an A-size sheet with a viewport showing the same building elevation at a scale of 1 8 inch equals 1 foot. In addition, once you have created page setups, you can reuse them in other projects by importing them from an existing drawing or by saving them as part of a drawing template file. If you always follow these basic rules, that you always create models at full scale, always create layouts at actual size, and always print or plot layouts at full scale or one-to-one, -one. you should always be able to get your geometry to appear at the proper size on the sheet of paper when it comes out of your printer or plotter.